So tell me, why is this book special within the criminology textbook market? Okay. The most distinctive feature of the book is that it's written from um, a sociological perspective, as we, the co-authors, very strongly believe that um, criminology is uh, an important subgroup of um, sociology. So the sociological introduction is its strongest strength, and that each of us come at criminological issues from a distinctive sociological position. And um, I think the flavour of it was probably best expressed over nearly 100 years ago by um, a famous criminologist, sociologist called Edwin Sutherland, who uh, defined criminology as three questions. Uh, why are laws made? Why are they broken? And what should be done about this? So they sound very simple questions, but each of the answers to them are deeply sociological. So the book is a reflection of the complexities and the nuances of how societies approach them issues. And it represents a shared approach from the team that's produced, although the team's expanded slightly and changed slightly. Each of the members, uh, each one of the members of the team represents uh, that same spirit of sociological inquiry, in particular kind of areas of criminology and sociology of deviance. So unlike some textbooks, it hangs together because it's very much a shared endeavor. Uh, and it, it, it represents a spirit that has been in the department we all work in that uh, has, has characterised the study um, of criminology and social deeds. Going back to uh, when Stan Cohen and Ken Plummer were leading lights in, the, in really developing that sociological questioning, critical approach to criminology and sociology of deeds. 